chefs from Toasted You at Cafe have agreed to share their trade secrets. Shh. Chris Milton and Matthew DeMond are here to share pointers on preparing the perfect pancake. Welcome to you both. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, ma'am. Well, first of all, I, I cannot believe these pancakes. They are so beautiful. I think I can only eat one. You think I can pull off all three? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have a little something, something going on, too, because of the Astros, don't you? What's up with that? That's correct. Today is National Pancake Day. Happy and National Pancake Happy Day. Happy National Pancake Day. We all love our Astros. Uh -huh. So we came up with Astronomical Pancake Day. Anybody that comes into any one of our 10 locations around the city in any type of Houston Astros garden uh -huh. will get a free pancake. How about so, that? We've taken our normal proprietary pancakes, and for today's purposes only, we've already added orange food coloring and blueberries to be representatory. I our love team. it. You got the Astros going on right there with your orange and blue. Okay, so we're going to whip up some of these. Give us an idea of what's going on over here. So first of all, you have your special mix, so we're not going to be able to get that. That's correct. We start with proprietary blend, uh -huh. um, and then we go pretty basic. Three eggs for every one cup of mix gets one egg. Mm -hmm. For every one cup of mix and one egg, you get one tablespoon of oil. Uh -huh. And then we use high end, you know, high quality buttermilk. Mm -hmm. Oh, buttermilk, buttermilk, right? Milk. So they're buttermilk pancakes. And then we use um, vanilla extract to kind of give it an extra pop and mm -hmm. brown sugar. Mm -hmm. um, brown sugar? Oh, well, that's a good one. I've never tried that. Okay, and, and so it'll be nice and sweet. Absolutely. And yeah. while he's mixing, um, you know, little fun facts that people probably wouldn't know and nobody would, but me would know is the largest pancake ever made in 1994 in Manchester, England, weighed 6,600 pounds, oh, was 49 feet wide, and to be in the Guinness Book, you had to be flippable and edible. How on earth do you flip that? With a crane? Cranes and forklifts, absolutely. You can look it up. That is something else. And the original pancake day 6, um, in UK, Ireland, and Australia uh -huh. came about because it was, they celebrated on what they call Shrover Tuesday. That's what we call Fat Tuesday. Uh -huh. So people would go into their cabinets, rake away all the bad things, sugars and you know sweets that they didn't want to eat through Lent, right. put it into the vessel that is a pancake, and that's where National Pancake Day came. Oh my goodness, you're just full of all kinds of trivia, aren't you? I bet you always win any trivia games you play, I, I, don't well, you? Exactly. I know. Sure. Okay, so how are we doing over here? You're whipping it up. Now, you say the key, too, is you don't want to stir your batter too hard or too much. Absolutely. It keeps it from rising. We want nice, big, thick pancakes, as you see in front of me. I think that might be my problem. Maybe my swan line are literally flatter than a pancake. I stir them too much. <laughs> so you're just going to whip it up until all the ingredients are mixed together, and then you go on the grill. Now, what is there any key to having it, the, the grill just hot enough? Or what do you could 350 to 375 is the ideal temperature. Okay. So when you put it on there, and you want to put room temperature mix on. If you put cold mix on, mm. it can take longer to brown on the bottom. Okay. So mix, you know, you, the milk's already cold enough, but right. you don't want to reset it in the refrigerator. So you mix, let it rest. That lets the double acting baking powder. So baking powder uh -huh. reacts first with liquid, okay. and then it acts second with heat. That's what gives you the rise while cooking. Mm -hmm. But between 350 and 375, that's the magic number. So then we're going to squirt a little whipped cream <laughs> on top, add some berries. You got your nice little syrup going on here. We're doing all natural maple, and we're ready to go. You Okay, so free pancakes today. All you have to do is wear your Astros gear. That's a pretty easy thing to do. I think yes, it's a great way to support our team. How about the fact that they just beat their record of, of games won? That's incredible. That's it. I think yeah. we're going for 106. That's a perfect thing to celebrate on National Pancake Day. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, man, I'm ready for that. How about you, Sally? <laughs> oh, and you'll have to tell the guys.